Um, we're going to be covering the basically the three easy steps to getting started um, with the project um, on Google's Maps platform um, that involves you know creating the project, assigning roles, and then also choosing APIs and setting up keys. But what you're looking at here, once you select a project, then you'll see the new project um, button as we have highlighted here, and that'll take you to the next screen. And here um, is where you're gonna name your project. And then like I mentioned previously um, about associating billing, you, you see that here. So one call out here um, is that uh, you do have the, the freedom to name your project, whatever you'd like. You also have the option to um, change the name of your project um, at any time, but keep in mind that the, you can't change the project ID and whatever you name the project originally will influence the name of the project ID. So just keep that in mind. You can change the project name at any time, but the project ID um, will stay the same. So once you've got your name set up, you've got your billing set up, you can go ahead and hit create. And then we'll go to the next slide here. So this is the main screen for your project. Um, and you'll you'll notice, you'll see a add people to this project button and adding people to projects is really easy. Um, the main thing you need to keep in mind is that when, when getting access to the project, you need to make sure that your email address um, is verified with Google. Um, and you don't have to create a new Gmail or anything like that. You can um, verify any email address, you know, a work email, personal email, whatever you'd like um, with Google. Um, very easy steps. They just send you a verification link and you're good to go. Um, so once you've, you've got a verified user here, um, you can then go in and select which role you would like them to have. Um, and you might not necessarily want everyone um, in your org to have owner rights, which is, allows them to basically do anything as far as enabling APIs, creating keys. Um, you might want to give someone browser or viewer access um, just so they don't have, you know, the ability to make changes if, if they don't need to. So one of the really awesome things um, about the Google Cloud platform is that it not only allows you to manage your Google Cloud accounts, but also your Google Maps accounts in one place. So you'll notice in the menu drop down here, there are some Google Cloud um, APIs and functionalities listed. Um, we also are a Google Cloud partner as well. So if you ever want to get started with the cloud, feel free to reach out and be happy to help with that. Um, but in this section, we're going to focus on enabling some APIs. Um, so you'll notice the APIs and services button. And once you click that, that'll take you to the main APIs and services dashboard. Um, and up at the top, you'll notice an enable and APIs and services button. Um, so if you'll click that, it'll then bring you here and you'll be taken to the full library of all of the Google Cloud and Google Maps um, APIs. And obviously today we're focusing on maps and enabling APIs is very, very easy. Um, all you need to do is just select one um, you'll notice there's an enable button and all you do is just click enable and the uh, API is enabled. And on the flip side of that, if you want to disable um, an API, it's also very easy to do that as well. Um, it'll just say, instead of enable, it'll say disable. Um, so very easy to get started, you know, setting up um, enabling APIs. So now that we've enabled an API, it's time to create a key. Um, it's kind of a two-pronged approach, right? You can't do one without the other. If you create a key and don't enable APIs, it won't work. If you enable APIs and don't create a key, it won't work. So make sure you do both um, to make sure that you're on the right track to, you know, using the service. Um, so creating credentials is very easy as well. Um, you have the create credentials uh, option highlighted there as well as the create credentials button. And then once you click that button, um, you'll notice a drop down and you'll see API key, um, which is mainly what we're focused on here, but you also have the option um, for the OAuth client ID or the service account. If you have any questions about any of that stuff, feel free to reach out. Um, we'd be happy to discuss it further, but again, we're just gonna focus on the API key. So once you select API key, your key has been created. Um, like I said, very, very easy. And you'll also notice that um, as soon as you do that, um, Google will automatically alert you to restrict your key. And now restricting your key um, is basically a way to make sure that your key is secure um, in case it were to ever get in the wrong hands. So let's look at what we can do to um, restrict our keys here. All right, so now that we've um, created the key, we're about to set up some restrictions. Um, you'll also notice at the top there, there's a, there's a name for your API key. Um, as it says here, we suggest renaming this to something more descriptive, maybe the name of the team using it or the name of the application that the key um, is being used in, just to make sure in case you have multiple keys, you know exactly what it's being used for or who it's being used by. Um, and as far as the restrictions go, um, you can restrict your key to only work on a certain website, um, a certain uh, IP address, a certain Android or iOS app, or you can also restrict your key um, to only work um, on a certain API as well. Um, so again, it's just an added um, layer of security. 
to make sure um, that if your key were to ever get in the wrong hands, that they won't be able to use it and generate a bunch of unnecessary charges. Um, so I know I've gone through this uh, fairly quickly, um, but as you can see, it's a really simple process to get started um, using the service. Um, and then, you know, our job here um, is to help you uh, be successful on the platform. So whenever you're ready to get started, feel free to reach out and we'd be happy to you know, guide you through the process.